Welcome back to another Ab Nation Barbecue Show with the hockey coach, Gold Coach, and she's directly for the beautiful country of the land of the smile and Thailand on the great Monday night, uh, July 3rd, uh, 2023. Hopefully an amazing great start of the July, the second half uh, of the year, uh, 2023. And you're ready to rock and roll uh, with the Hockey Nation Live Show. Of course, the Ab Nation, that's going to do every Monday night, all summer, Every Wednesday night, all summer, we talk about the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, we're going to talk about other teams sometime, but it's really focusing on those both nights for your Montreal Canadiens. The Sunday night and the Tuesday night, it's all about the NHL teams, and we'll cover, of course, the Montreal Canadiens sometime during those nights. So that's what we got four nights per night and four times per week. So we're going to Sunday to Wednesday. What happened Thursday is optional. So if you have something going on, maybe it will go to pop up. If not, we're going to take another day off. I'm going to do more uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No video for the full, no live stream for the summer. So that's what the schedule of the Hockey Nation has show. And um, that's in the, what we have. Uh, yes, I'm going to take some vacation. I'm going to leave about one for one week at some point in July and one week in August. Uh, so I uh, just want to give you a little bit more what's going on. Of course, uh, for, the, for my schedule during the summer. And uh, that's what we got there. Now, uh, tonight, guys, uh, I have a specific subject to talk about. Uh, my truck and his was a little bit not like very active the last couple of days, but they, they make some kind of controversy decision. Probably some of you are not very happy about that. But what I did uh, uh, last night uh, for the last 24 hours, guys, uh, I look about the, the Montreal Canadian prospect defenseman. I call them the wall uh, because you think about who they are, Mayu, Baron, Jekai, Ray Baker, and Cooley. This is the wall for the Montreal Canadiens for the next 10 years. We'll talk about them uh, tonight, uh, and uh, hopefully we're going to have a great conversation together. Then, if you miss uh, my, if you look my video, the guy produces at least two video per, one video per day. Uh, this one is, game, it was uh, tonight, last night. Uh, <laughs> I came back late last night, and uh, Marco texted me at 2 o'clock in the morning. He said, Coach, uh, we have a new signature, uh, RHP. I said, oh, yeah, all right, let's make a video. So I make a video from 2 a.m. to 4.30 um, uh, about RHP. And finally, <clears throat> I make another video uh, earlier. It's called uh, Dwight left the building and direction of Colorado. And I just gave you a little bit of information about uh, Jonathan Dwight, his career with the Montreal Canadiens, six years with the Montreal Canadiens. Whatever you like him or not, uh, uh, that's what he did with the Montreal. And uh, that's, that's Joe. That's uh, Dwight. That's what he did for the Montreal Canadiens. So you have a chance to watch those videos, please. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment uh, uh, below the video, and I will do my best, guys, to uh, respond to you. Uh, the channel is growing, guys. Uh, honestly, the last month, uh, we're increasing the number of subscribers, and we're increasing the number of the viewers. So that's a good sign. And, um, well, we're going to have a big news, guys, in the next two weeks uh, for the channel, uh, where it's going to be benefit <coughs> the channel. And... Um, and you're going to see me somewhere else, too. But I will give you more information about this uh, uh, the next two weeks. So I just want to tease you a little bit that what is going to happen for me and the channel. Uh, it's all great. Uh, it just went out on negotiation if it's going to happen or not. And uh, I think I will just push <coughs> the channel <coughs> to the next level. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what's happening about that. Uh, but we have a few people, guys, in the, hat, uh, in the house already, guys. I'm going to go around and uh, <coughs> let's start with Mr. Le Aston Captain of the Moderator, Mr. Luciano Graziano is in the house uh, tonight. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Luciano, to be with us. I appreciate a lot. Tomorrow, the time of the fireworks, uh, and RG said, you're absolutely right, uh, RG uh, is the fireworks uh, Tuesday, July 4th. Uh, and uh, I'm already there, but uh, you guys are right there. At that time, RJ Fleek was a great time. The roadrunner, Gary Cornoyer, is in the house. <clears throat> Before I came to the show, guys, I tried to get all the news. I'm switching, like, website. I watch TV. And today, TV it was the NHL that work, you know. It's off-summers for them, too. And then they, uh, 
they make a doc, uh, documentary about a Montreal Canadian dynasty with Scotty Bowman. Uh, really interesting uh, to hear to watching that. Uh, the uh, Jeff problem the late Len with Lenders and as well as more gold at the Western Conference. The uh, Jeff talk about the late that's not uh, the sweet defense issue. Uh, RJ Randy is in the house. Randy Walkman, thanks so much. Uh, you're yeah, absolutely right about this, Randy. I think they try to push him, but the problem with Andy Finn, he requests to play in USA. Uh, his wife and him want to move back in the in the country of the USC, and that's the reason I believe is the problem with that part. Uh, with that, uh, play. I've offered a link home eight and send money. I need to find it uh, for Hoffman. We want a 10 million per year, something else to give. Uh, I think he's going to take uh, some cap back, others would take him. Uh, talking about that team, El Mike requests a trade. Uh, Good talk about this, guys, because uh, I know Randy said that. Uh, but the uh, and the Boston Bruins are offering two Jeremy Swimmen, uh, two. So, it'll be interesting what happening uh, for that, uh, what the development with the Boston Bruins. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, Mr. Jake McEnwee is in the house. Nicolas de Bobby Bono, de la belle province de Québec, dans la région de Sherbrooke. Il est de retour avec nous ce soir après un séjour de 10 jours dans la région de, Cher de Chicoutimi, je crois, ou de Sacnéen ou de la Beauce, je ne m'en souviens plus. Mon mon Nicolas, on t'a manqué beaucoup. Euh, on est très heureux de te revoir dans le channel. And, uh, and hopefully you're doing well. You have an amazing great time with your family. Guys, Nicolas is only uh, 16 years old, I believe, and he's been with us for at least uh, three years, and he's always be here every single night, most of the time. Uh, pretty amazing when you think about that. Uh, uh, Randy, talk about the goalies. Vinny James is in the house, uh, 007. Welcome back. Grab it, uh, the GH. Uh, I call him the GH uh, sauce. Uh, it would be great to have him. Since uh, we create a new miss, maybe Luciano can think about this uh, the GH uh, sauce. Uh, Gravit, thanks so much. Very kind of you. The words you talk about, the, the channel, I repeat shit about my videos. Uh, uh, we try to go to the next level with the videos, of course. Uh, we make a lot of, um, you know, it was maybe my problem. I did not focus too much on the on the, the quality of the video. Uh, but um, I add the news, guys. Uh, when I make one of them, whatever is about five minutes to eight minutes, nine minutes, I have two format now. Um... Where um, one of my format is, uh, uh, you know, in my the news, you see my face, and then I put video between the, uh, the subject, everything like that. My other, my other format is uh, really from the beginning to the end. You never see my, my, you never see my face. It's called like a faceless, right? And you hear my voice in the back, and I talk about the subject of the player. So, uh, uh, look like the the comments are pretty good so far. So we'll see what happening about that one over there. Uh, not a problem. I grab. We appreciate that, uh, Mr. And Mr. Jake McEnwee is in the house. Welcome back. What we got for emoji right now? Uh, we have a uh, two New Jersey uh, for Mr. Uh, uh, Jake. Uh, is it Robinson? Nineteen and number nine. Uh, I cannot see it, uh, but uh, look like it. Uh, looking good. Jordan Tyler, thirty-two, is back in the house. Uh, uh, if only we had this great uh, wall of Montreal in front of the old great wall, Carey Price. Uh, yeah, that was under the wall uh, behind that. But now the wall is going to block the foundation of the goalies at the end. Uh, back lane, Maxim, uh, back the puck. Calls uh, got better, got the sponsor channel. Thanks so much, Jordan. Very kind of you. Again, uh, Zev Lecab is in the house. Zev, uh, vacation. Zev, uh, what's going on with you in July? Uh, but uh, glad to have you aboard. Zev, guys, you will be a great supporter of the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, very kind of you. Uh, the hat uh, at the hamburger, or yeah, we love the steak and cook like this. I think it's the time of the year to do that. Uh, for sure, we appreciate a lot, uh, Luciano, for the Ab Nation. You can go on this uh, new channel. We're going to create uh, in the next. Uh, because you can say, back to work. Uh, WST back at the, uh, the house, uh, first of all, and he back to work. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, yes, last night I make a video because of that. Uh, you shall not pass in Montreal Defensive 2025. Uh, why not including? Um, what is the point behind that, uh, WST? If you look about all the players they got right there, uh, for that, that I can I don't know if I can go back over there. 
euh, sur WST. Euh, Mayo, 31st overall pick par Marc Bergevin. Justin Barron, there's only one was straight uh, for that uh, from the Colorado Avalanche. Jackai undrafted, Rebecca number one, fifth overall pick, and Cody, 16th overall pick. Uh, and that's the reason I go that direction about this. Uh, Kovac uh, Kovacevic, guys, is a little bit over 26 years old now, or 25 years old. And they are all of them. All of them, we just mentioned their name. We'll talk about a little bit more. Uh, very young for the core. So this is uh, really a young core for the Montreal game. That's the reason I did not put cover service inside the conversation about that. Uh, and then you have Hudson. Uh, you can add on that name, a uh, left defenseman for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, so we're going to talk about this next couple of minutes. Uh, Mr. Andy AK is in the house. Welcome back. Uh, Now we just need to convert uh, uh, Hudson into a forward. Uh, I don't know about that one, Jordan. Uh, I think Hudson is going to be fine as a defenseman. Um, there are many defensemen, Quinn Hughes, uh, Spurgeon, um, Tony Crook. Uh, they all been 5'9 and uh, smaller, and they make the NHL very well at the end of the day. I think it will be fine to get him as a defenseman. The real deal is in the house, the Buffalo Sabres, uh, number one fans. Uh, don't forget get to click on the, to put the little Q. If you have any questions, guys, uh, this is the time of the year you can ask questions. I'm not focusing on the live streaming and I look at the TV. I can look at you and now and any question, it's open up. Any rules you want to know or any subject about a month work in the end, maybe you can talk about other team. Look, we are here as a family. We all sit on the couch right now. We are around the the, the 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 fire pit right now, right? And we cook. The Chenu cook in the background, and he's going to deliver some. He set up some kind of hamburger for everybody. So let's talk about hockey and be around the uh, the fire pit uh, all together. That'd be great. Uh, deal with the Buffalo Sabers. Uh, Buffalo Sabers. Uh, Veneto, I think they have 24 players signed already, so they will make a trade at some point. Um, the Buffalo Sabers. They have too many players on the roster for upcoming season. Uh, real deal. I want to mention this. Uh, uh, Open oh, Dwayne scored 20 goals. Uh, yeah, can he get there? I'm not sure, but uh, it would be interesting to follow him over there. And, you know, many players left the Montreal Canadiens. They go to other cities and other team, and they make pretty good after that. But um, we'll see uh, if he can get uh, back the the chemistry or the recon or the connection again with uh, Nathan McKinnon. Uh, I feel a Dwayne on the second line, third line for the Avalanche will be great. Uh, he find back his uh, teammates, uh, of course, uh, Arturi Le Canin, but the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Mark uh, is won't be any place for Canadiens, in my opinion. Um, but he, he can become the, the, the uh, for me, Mark, he's become the fourth defenseman. You try to build as eight defensemen, four on the left D, four on the right D. That's why they be the, you know, the, the best scenario or the best template you can get uh, as a defenseman. So he can become that four defenseman right now as a, our, uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. I think it's a solid player. So he's big, 6'4". He need to improve. He need to get better. But he proved it after he was claimed for the Winnipeg Jet uh, uh, from the waiver uh, in October. Uh, he's been a very big, good asset. He, he did very good job uh, with uh, chemistry-wise uh, with the uh, Jordan Harris during the season. So we see how he's going to develop again. But uh, right now, uh, for the Montreal Canadiens, where they at in 2023-2024, and they are still year number two of the rebuilding of five years, not two years, not three years, not four years, five years. Are you going to be patient? That's what it takes. It takes five years. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no around. It's not like, oh, next year they're going to be to make the playoff. It's going to be this, it's going to be that, they're going to be. No, oh, yeah, relax, relax, relax. It's a process. It's a process. And the process is five years. They have their own template, they have their own plan. And that's what they do. They don't listening the 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 noise. They don't listening the noise. They only believe at what they know, what they, is the best for the Montreal Canadiens. Whatever the fans, what they want, it's not what they, they do. They do what exactly was the best for the Montreal Canadiens for the future. And that's what they do since the day one. They knew at the beginning they have some hole inside the lineup. First of all, the Surrey Cap was bad, bad contracts. So they tried to cut Weber, 
Petri, right? And now they get Edmondson out because the spot for they need more spot inside. They try to trade now off men. And then after that, they said, wait a minute, we need center. What he did, they trade Romana for 13, 13 to Doc. They got Kobe Doc. And then they are other two old. They have a goaltender situation and they have the right defenseman. What they did, they pick up Rebacker. Boom, the old is patched. That's it, that's all. Let's move on now for the next the next thing. The next thing now is going to figure out if they can add a goaltender the next 24 months. And then after that, this is the process. During that process, you build a culture. And that culture is make with fun kind of fun human being as the players and they bring on the off ice and, and on, on the ice. And that's what they believe believe of the culture. They need one leader inside of the club. Not the best player all the time with the most talented, but the players can make the team as the best team together. And that's what it takes in in sport. That yeah no you cannot go around. And I feel for me example, Iserman slip right now, the Detroit plan, in my opinion. So you have no rush for them. It would take next year. Next year, they can maybe, again, slip another, get out the contract of Armia. Mike Hoffman will be gone. And now they are only have maybe Gallagher at that's it, that's all. They got Weber out last year, too. And then after that, they maybe add at that moment, a 2024 summertime, maybe one specific player on the UFA to patch up another old they figure out in the lineup. Then in 2025, that's why now they're going to take advantage of the, all the, they're going to pay off everything what they learn and what they accomplish the process for four years with the rebuilding. Maybe three years after that, year number four. It's really a year number four when the Montreal Canadiens are going to twist and they're going to changing now at that moment. Until then, stay calm, just enjoy the journey, embrace the moment, support the team. It would take time. When you said to me, oh, they're going to maybe make the playoff. Guys, they are not there. And they don't want to get there. A formula, a winner formula, guys, is a process. Yeah, no secret. It's a process. And you need to tie the players with some kind of leader inside the locker room. I can go all the way like that, guys. And I'm just getting excited about that. Honey, up. let's move on with the chat, guys. Uh, are you a Finnish and Yeah, he is. Uh, William McClary is in the house. Welcome back, at William. Thanks for being with our Kinesha Live show tonight. <laughs> Jordan Teller, Andre Markov, draft center, made into a defenseman. Dustin Buffett, start a right winger, made into the defenseman. Lane uh, Artson, correction. Uh, look what you just said. Uh, Brent Burns is under one. It's easier. What the, the adaptation from winger to defenseman. And uh, it's rare you see a defenseman move forward. That's the reason I would say to you, uh, Jordan, about that one over there. Uh, I would not see that, in my opinion. Uh, Mickey Ab, so get Jeff for the one. Uh, Mickey Ab, welcome aboard. It, it's happening every time, guys. Some gym make mistake, and it's happening about uh, Philip Forsberg. For Martin Erat, play what twenty game with the Capitals, Washington, and Forsberg still scoring goal for the Nashville Predator. It's happened all the time. The bad trade, and uh, he did it, Bergevin. But if you look about all the trade he did, Bergevin, uh, he did pretty good on the trade. He did pretty good. Like he, he the Andre Shaw and uh, the Philip Dano and uh, Shea Weber. He, he, he did pretty good. Sinatra you are free was not very good. You know, Alsner. And, and the reason behind that, guys, is he did not do search. He, he, he did not surround himself with the right people. And he was just doing this by his feeling, his guts. He, he only believed at Trevor Timmons. And look, the Montreal Canadiens, they have about 20 people around the table now. Uh, it's a one-man show with Marc Bergevin. You like it, you like him. He produces a lot of great things. And he did a lot of bad things too. But that's the that's the journey of the GM in NHL uh, for that. Um, 
Not a problem. Uh, great. Thank you so much. All the, uh, the likes we got right now. Nina, directly from Thailand, is in the house. Welcome back, Nina. Hopefully doing well. Uh, my dog hate, uh, hate uh, fireworks. He would not like a Thailand WST. Because even I guess we have fireworks in Thailand. The, the Thailand people, they bought some kind of fireworks in the boom, boom, the, the boom, boom. Not the same widow, but the boom, boom, the fireworks every night on the beach uh, where I live. Anyhow. Uh, they make a playoff next season. Uh, are you uh, a circle of Kevin? Uh, 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 but they will have a tough battle. Uh, question, coach, can you do the play by play for the final game? Can the Matra again would come back in 1903? That would be a fantastic idea, but soon sound surprise. It's not a bad idea, real. Uh, I, I like that idea. I think we should go uh, do the live streaming this game uh, live uh, at some point. Um, it's funny to talk about this. We have something we can do. You know, like life is about brainstorm, right? I don't know the real format about this one, uh, but I think it'll be good to talk about that game and then make some kind of stuff like that. Like maybe one time per month and during the summer, uh, we can do some kind of uh, back in the future. And uh, that'd be great. And that'd be awesome, real, if we invite one specific player at uh, that lineup and then talk about this, or maybe someone was covered, a Montreal Canadian, whatever it is. Uh, uh, Jordan, talk about Batman, uh, uh, William, and D. Um, uh, coach, uh, who voice and that and that last video, uh, Coach, uh, you talk about my voice. Uh, it's my voice, uh, James. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a. They have a website where I pay uh, some specific money, and what I do, I make about uh, at least I did like thirty minutes on my voice, and they uh, really put my voice on the specific uh, voice over. We said that way. And they copy my voice uh, pretty good. Uh, I think the I would say to you ninety percent of the time that's my uh, you can see my sign that my sound or my accent uh, accents uh, get out the uh, same way. Uh, if we could that for what time with the app camp uh, for Joel Degle about this one? Uh, yeah, that's right. Welcome back, by the way, Mr. Joel Degle. Thanks to be at the part of the show. The GTR. What is not uh, from Canada is in the house. Happy 4th of uh, July, Mr. and Willie. Hopefully you're doing well in uh, Colorado. Everything looking great uh, um, about that one, you know. Um, so, oh, RG talk about the Montreal game. We're going to talk about this next couple of minutes. Again, so I'm at overcap zone season. Team can remain at 10% overcap zone season. Uh, yes. Um, that's the same thing happening during off season, right? Um, that's the way about that. Uh, hey, everyone, quick drive by to hit likes and Marco Larabi, the co host of the Ad Nation Barbecue every Wednesday night uh, when he can uh, directement the Lange Gardien. Lange the Gardien, the Larkin Nation Show, is back in the house uh, after he have an amazing, great day at work. Uh, the lunch is set up for tomorrow, leftover. I don't know yet, but uh, hopefully, look, you're doing well. You have an amazing, great day over there. Thanks to join the Hockey Nation Live Show tonight. And Rabinov, uh, are you playing that Aris won't be long-term part of this team? Uh, um, uh, again, it's uh, another player where I believe it could be a good asset for the Montreal Canadian uh, to be trade. Um, and because I think Angstrom is coming soon, so at some point. The only way or Jordan Aris is going to be hanging with the Montreal Canadian, I don't know how long. Uh, because you have a lot of Jordan Iris in it, shot six foot one eighty five, uh, can move out the park. He can carry on, play well. He's very smart. Uh, the it, it remind you know sometime in, in hockey, guys, the talent the the talent of the players. Um, I, I will I will uh, one I, I scout and one I will um, evaluate players and then they will play for me. Example, I will make a. Um, Sign the template and I'll put some ranking from one to five, example. And for the their talent, their pure talent on different uh, aspect of the game. Then I would put uh, on the skill the same thing. And then I would do another one. 
And this one is about how smart the player is. Because sometimes more the player is smarter, he's whatever is limited by his skill or by talent, he will recovery because he's smart to realize how he can put the stick on the ice at the right place, how he can turn his skating on the left side, on the right side. He will figure out the crossover backwards as a defenseman uh, to pinch the guy to the board. He will unspeed the play faster, quicker, and better to other players are not that kind of smart who they are. And Jordan Harris, is, that's what he is. He's above average about how he see the play. He recovery very well. Whatever, he's not a big defenseman, only six foot 185. The fact is very smart hockey player, make him a player could play in the NHL for a long time. But Montreal can end with everything they have uh, in front of him. The Caden Cooley, uh, the, the Jekai. Why Jekai over Aris? Because again, I said earlier, you have to have specific role inside the team. If they are, if they are only look like the same team, they are similar, that's not going to work. But the Jackai for me is a little bit what uh, Kudas bring for the Panthers last year. Is a look shine did for the Toronto Maple Leaf. Is the guy is a physical uh, is physical uh, physical till the game is higher for any other players in Montreal. If something happens, he's there for, to protect the 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 star of the Montreal Canadiens, and so he can see that kind of the role he played for the Montreal Canadiens. Sit on the third pairing behind Cooley, and maybe Hudson, but I think that would fit very well. Um, and if you look about Cooley, Hudson, and that's what both together play exactly what Aris tried to do in NHL. So Aris become the fourth defenseman. The other player we don't talk about yet is Adam Ekstrom uh, from Sweden. A draft on the Montreal Canadiens, I believe, 96 overall pick last season, uh, 2022. Have an amazing, great year in Sweden last year. He still have one more year to go. But is a kind of player, guys, he could surprise the defenseman. What is good about this guy, they have more assets like him. Make now, uh, make a use to make maybe a big uh, trade to get players back with the Montreal Canadiens at long term. So that's what happening about this. Going to go a little bit more, guys, about that. But a great question about Jordan Iris uh, about that. Uh, uh, Hudson will uh, uh, blow our mind uh, as a pro. Uh, we wish the best for Lena Hudson. is a unique guy, right? Don't have a lot of, you know, it's the Johnny Goodrow and uh, and the, the defenseman. That's what Johnny Goodrow is. It's only a 5'8", but look what he does on the NHL. So he play. Uh, he have an amazing, great career in NCAA. Uh, winner the uh, O.B. Parker uh, trophy. And Austin can follow what he did uh, Goodrow. Uh, so that's what Lane Austin is going to do in the NHL. We're going to follow up him, and hopefully he's going to reach his full potential because the kid is uh, fun to watch uh, for sure. Uh, well said, uh, Mr. Uh, Slow burn, Joe. I like that one of that. Uh, Gary, uh, Strobel is already a brick. Uh, wow, don't forget about him. But again, guys, uh, Jaden Strobel is a really interesting case. Uh, you, you have a lot of, and again, it's another player, guys, left defenseman, uh, limited uh, by his skill talent, but uh, again, very smart hockey player, and he really good uh, to his cap control, a defensive zone. His offensive is really low. Um, I don't want to compare him with any specific player, but he's a guy who plays house. Uh, he's physical in front of the net, around the net. Uh, but when you have already those players I just mentioned to you, uh, Gary, it would be really hard for him uh, to make the Montreal Canadiens. But you never know. Uh, you never know. We cannot give up on him. But it just feel like uh, what the what the, the what we're talking about. We're going to talk about this next couple of That's the reason behind that. Uh, Mr. D.H. is in the house. So welcome back. TH. Hopefully your Islanders, um, uh, the Islanders, the Islanders, the Islanders. Lou Labariello. Oof, I don't know. Seven years to Pierre Egbal, seven years to Mayfield, eight years for Sarukin, I got it. I don't know. Uh, very surprised about this. Uh, you said a uh, wall. Uh, the, I said it's not a wall. Qualify as a wall material. Um, when I talk about the wall, it's not about the defensive at the end. Only about the defensive. The Kovacevic on the right defense on the right side. Uh, WST is uh, 
I will give you an example. Look about the color of an inch. They have a one case, it's 5'9", is Girard, top four. And then around him, they have McCarr, and they have uh, Taze, and they have Eric Johnson. And I can go all the way. They have B-Ram, too. So Girard and just Taze. And you, you, you can add uh, the behind that, uh, the other players behind. So to make the wild, it's not only the defense, it's a specific role and they have, and the wall behind that, as I'm talking about tonight, guys, is they're all 22 years old, younger. This is the best score from one to six you have in, in any other NHL team. Try to go all around the league, all right, and put 22 years old, younger, and what they have on the roster or what they have on the prospect, and you're going to figure out a motto again in the end is maybe the best team as for the first year as the defenseman core. The Buffalo Sabres, yeah, they are power sending, right? They are Rasmussen, uh, but uh, they don't have complete from one to six, right? It's not Clifton and um, it's older. So I, you look about everyone and you're going to see Montreal Canadian, the wall I'm talking about is the setup of the core, what they want to build the Montreal Canadian. It's not about only stop. A specific role inside the wall about that one over there. Mr. Don Hashem is in the house. Don't forget, guys, click on the lights. I'll be great. Uh, convert Mayu to the power forward. I don't know why. Like, the people want to cut. You know, Marco is talking about bring Jack High forward. I don't know why you guys you want to bring defensemen as a forward. I, I, those players play 20 years at the young to one specific position, and now we want to change them. Uh, I, I I disagree with that part over there uh, for that one. Uh, uh, Strobel a Jack. Uh, um, I don't know how many games you saw for Strobel. I watched him for over two years uh, um, with Jordan Harris, many games. Uh, he's a complimentary of Jordan Harris, guys. That's what he is. Um, 11 points, CA. Uh, he, he, he's just a guy play defensive very well. That's what he is. He don't have that offense inside of him, obviously, for him. Can he become? We'll see. Interesting to see if uh, Mick David can uh, uh, rekindle some magic with Brown, uh, Connor Brown, signing a contract uh, of, uh, with the Edmonton Oilers. So, be interesting. It's going to be there. Uh, so, well, with other questions soon, the uh, Clefferson. Marco, uh, comments on the G. Franson press conference today. Sound like he's expected Laval to struggle early in the season, but he's going to team on the young player. Boy is going to get a lot of minutes. Uh, yeah, if you watch him uh, today, it was day number three at the Mont uh, Montreal Canadian camp, and he talked about uh, the fact like the, the he really believes he's going to have a good team. But many of them, I would say to you, maybe, what, eight of them? have not really experienced as a professional in American Hockey League. Uh, Roy, Kitney, Mayu, uh, Torini, and Davidson now. And I can go with uh, Farrell. And I miss one maybe now, uh, maybe one or two. So um, that's what they're going to be. So they, they try to mix up, they mix uh, players with veterans to play in American Hockey League. Unfortunately, Montreal lost a lot of the players. They lost Shoneman, they lost Richard, uh, they lost uh, Dubé, and they lost Belzil. Four players that have some kind of good year last year. Now, Simono is back with them. Mezak is back to a young uh, player prospect for the Montreal Canadian. And uh, we'll be interested in Bowden. He's a defenseman. Brimo, right now, uh, is there. They signed a new goaltender yesterday. Stras Mann. We're going to talk about him in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but we'll be interested about this, uh, Marco. Uh, I feel like uh, people overestimate the value of the best player uh, possible. I mean, yes, the best player available is valuable, but is a more valuable a great player that also uh, great comments about this uh, grabs. Uh, Mark Riley, Riley is in the house. Mark, welcome aboard. If you are first time, hopefully you're going to subscribe and click on the likes and uh, welcome inside the family of the App Nation. Uh, Philip Zadina does a get claim. Uh, very interesting. This is another case, right? Every time, every draft, everything, and I said, man, did it. Make the mistake. It's happened for everyone. That's not make as a man a bad GM. Uh, it's not a, a chance to pick uh, the right players. Sometimes you're thinking about this. That they said, I'm going to prove to everyone I'm better at what the people that got drafted before him. And he never reached it. You know, unfortunately for Philip, they didn't have a good career in the Witcher, I believe, or QM. 
uh, never reach its full potential in, in each other. That's a, another maybe a Pugio Javi example. Um, so um, uh, we'll see if Gundy can claim it. The problem behind that, what the problem, Mark, is you have, what, nine teams already uh, over cap, and then you have about nine other, maybe uh, 14 more team guys are close to uh, two million in less. And Zedna can run a contract at $1.8 million. dollars. You cannot renegotiate his contract. You you claim him, you go with his contract. Uh, so uh, Zedna, uh, that came with a So that reason I said he maybe not claim uh, this is because of that situation, his contract at $1.8 million dollars uh, mark. Um, it's in the need and the team. Uh, I said this because people some it's like a picker busy on need. It sounds like we have the best. Uh, Great, great comments about the world. There will be the pick uh, about this one. There, we said uh, uh, Addison, Barry, uh, Bryson, uh, Joey, or Jew. I don't expect to see next season. About this, uh, Allison, he has the one he maybe got trade at some point. Uh, he had to trade, and then Bryson will be the one that be out. Uh, real deal about this. Uh, Carlos is in the house. Uh, who is leaving the Montre uh, the Toronto Maple Leaf first? Ever as my Lord, Matthew, Lord, who you think Woody is gone? He would be free, Woody. But the problem right now with the Toronto Maple Leaf, uh, they are $8 million dollars over cap at that moment. $8 million. Secondly, the negotiation not looking good after um, a post of Chris Johnson. Uh, the fact like uh, they are not the same page, like completely uh, far apart. Uh, Nalander thinking he deserves $10 million. dollars. Would you like to sign William Nalander at $10 million? dollars? Do you, do you consider uh, him uh, like Rantanen? I don't know. Um, I would be comfortable to sign Nellander at $8.5 million, in my opinion. So uh, they are already far apart. Uh, it could be a benefit for the Toronto Maple Leaf uh, to, you know, maybe trade in to get some kind of prospect and return and get a pick and uh, go, to, you know... Um, Can Matthew Nice uh, pick uh, push out Nellander? We don't know, but they have to figure out the salary cap anyway. And we'll see. I, I really like those pick they get. They got Domi and uh, Bertuzzi, uh, Klenberg, um, and Ryan Reeves. So they make some old they have right now. They figure out what they need uh, to become better as a team uh, with some kind of character and leadership. But Uh, Lucien, who said that earlier, earlier, earlier at the show, did not fix their problem at the right defenseman. The fact they lost Luke Shine, I hurt a lot for the right defenseman on that side over there. Um, not be easy to, uh, you know, Luke Shine, guys, not because he's the best defenseman, but he's a guy bring a lot of character, bring a lot of leadership, and he bring a lot of respect for opening team. Uh, you better to put your head up when you go to face to Luke Shine in the corner. So, uh, They don't have those kind of players right now, and they would try to trade at least DJ Brody, one of them, a Jack Crock, and they figure out with Matt Murray. Uh, then they have to find out the contract of Samson up. So a lot of uh, a really busy uh, off summer for uh, Mr. Brad, the new GM of them. Uh, let's move on with Gravit. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, give up uh, uh, after the hard work. Thank you so much about this. Appreciate that. Uh, Can you believe that Detroit put uh, Zendida on the waiver? Must be uh, more could just his development, his production to waive them like that. Uh, but they put Verena last year. Uh, Zendida, they, they gave him a chance. They gave him a contract three years, I believe, at $1.8 million a year before that. Uh, they thought he maybe developed very well at Grand Rapids, and then that happened about this. They just gave up on that one. He needed a, a new scenery. And again, Not easy to trade players, guys, in NHL. Uh, so with a contract yet, maybe you have another opportunity right now to go back uh, uh, and American Hockey League and figure out uh, our three uh, first former overall pick uh, on defense. Uh, they, yep, they have that one over there. Uh, did not hear uh, Jean-François put a sound like a music to my ear about this one. Uh, have better claim Zedina. Um, I don't think so, uh, guys. Uh, why to draft him? We are already uh, over skater right now. Uh, Philippe Zazina did absolutely nothing in NHL to give him a consistency to be uh, have a job. Um, I don't know. Uh, we have already GC Allenon. Uh, that's a further player I figured out about Zedina and Allenon, in my opinion. 
uh, for me. So I would not touch him at all if I was the Montreal Canadiens at Macron. I did Arizona sign this weekend. Sound like it is going to have a tank uh, job. Uh, they will make uh, uh, the playoff uh, this year. Uh, trust the story, uh, Rodney uh, Redcliffe. Uh, again, guys, perfect. And I hope the best for the Montreal Canadiens. But in the process, the rebuilding, that would be the worst thing could have been in Montreal Canadiens. Coach, why are you so negative? I'm not negative. A rebuilding process, a rebuilding from the bottom for the foundation and to rebuild up, it takes five years. If you are changing the, the, the course or the path of the rebuilding, you're going to struggle again, 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 and again. So for the Montreal Canadian, it's about development and get better year after year. From 32 to 29, I believe, or 28, now they try to get 25. They have to need to have a top 10 pick next season. Then after that, you're going to see what kind of player they can add on the lineup roster in 2024. Could be one or two. And they're getting closer. They get now maybe another top six forward at 24 years old, at 25 years old. I don't know. I'm just talking about that. And then the year number after that, 20... 25, 26. This is the year where the Montreal Canadiens have to compete and to be close to make the playoff. Until then, guys, you can have hope. Uh, you can be positive. Uh, and that's okay. I have no problem with that part. But they are far to make the playoff, in my opinion, right now. Uh, you cannot make the playoff guy with Montembeau and, and Jake Allen and the and the, and the defenseman uh, as the goalies. You can uh, you cannot make uh, the playoff with a top six they have right now. They not cannot make the playoff with the core of five rookies in the lineup. They have Medicine and they have Savar, but that's not good enough right there. So it's not about improvement; it's about development. That's the two key you have to remember for the, this season again. And again, everything could happen, but for the benefit of the Montreal continues to move forward, to get closer, to become a better team, I think for Montreal it would be better if they can mix if they miss the playoff. But we'll see, Mr. Natap, knock the door. We'll come back. Montreal tried to build a pipeline for the Laval. You have the right look. I think there's the right things about this one over there. Uh, you have the right look, channel. Mr. Roger Delaney is in the house. Welcome back, Mr. Roger. Thanks to be with that. Uh, does it was good on the trade, uh, not the contract. Uh, negotiation was a spending, a spending spray uh, about this one. That was said, uh, my dear. Mr. LH is in the house. Uh, welcome back. Um, we're going to talk about this, guys. Uh, first of all, the extension. I just make a video a little bit earlier, a couple of hours ago. Uh, the RHP uh, extension, a two years contract at $1.1 million, uh, equal $2.2 million uh, overall. And then we got the uh, guys uh, um, for him. Uh, he has uh, 14 goals, guys, in 34 games. That's what RHP did last season in NHL. Uh, we talk about him. Couple of, couple of weeks ago, well, a couple of days ago, weeks ago, and I said, guys, he's going to be not over 1.4 million. I was expecting about 1.2 to 1.4. Uh, they gave him a 1.1 because he never proved anything. I know King of Gamers said, no, 2 million to 2.5. No, he did not prove anything. He's going to be right now on the template. Whoa! Super chat. We have a super chat, guys, for our friend Andre Calabro, 499, the first of the evening. Andre is on fire! Super chat, reverse chop, 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 Andre. He did it again. Andre Calabro, guys. Another super chat for him. Very kind, very kind of you, Andre. Uh, Andre been with us. He give us all the information. And we love it. There are the support of the people of the channel. Thanks so much, Andre, to do that. Uh, for the Hockey Nation live show. Go back at RHP, guys. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about that signature? For me, it's extremely, uh, extremely a great news for the Montreal Canadiens to get him. He had two years to prove it, and then he become a UFA at that moment. 
and we'll see what he can get after that. But uh, RSP play a specific role. Again, like I said earlier, guys, every piece of the puzzle. If you want to make a team, you can have similar player all the time. And you make its fun players uh, and make the team better. And RSP is about the blue collar, right? The guy can run it as he could become the Yannick Gord for the Montreal Canadian, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I think he can become that guy. I made the video. I see it all. all uh, I see. It, I think it was 11 or 14 goals uh, he did last year. I see again. The guy drives to the net. He's not afraid. He's still in the middle of the ice and front of the net. Uh, he tipped the puck. He is constantly around the puck. He opened up space. Uh, he's really smart to intercept the puck. Or he's really is smart to play the puck, uh, uh, to play uh, to read the play in front of him uh, uh, to make some kind of pushing the player on the board. And uh, he played very well. The under sick was called this the under sick. Uh, he played well his body versus opening team whenever he's 5'9". Uh, he had a lot of tools. Uh, and for him, uh, drafter in Montreal, I think it was a 7-1 pick. Uh, why he, de he developed that is the time they got COVID, guys. Uh, the time of the COVID time, uh, he, he, he started to play. He took... Uh, Many, many uh, private lessons with Joel Bouchard um, that time with Montreal Canadian on the ice and uh, at, the, at the Blainville area uh, to make him better. And um, you have to give credit for RHP. Uh, talk about some kind of words you want to have to the players. Uh, perseverance is one of them. Uh, dedication, work ethic um, for RHP. And the reason we is right now is because he's really beating on himself. Um, he, he beat the odds, and that's what called characters. That's what Montreal they are. Characters. Look what they look like. From behind the bench, start with Martin Saint Louis. Look the character of Stephen Robides in the NHL, 15 years. Play with the Shangan Shangan Cataract draft, uh, and then got traded in many years with the Toronto, many years with the Dallas Star, and then after that, Alex Burroughs. Look at his career with the the, the Seden uh, brother, brothers. So who they are all together is because they show some kind of character and perseverance and really believe in themselves. That's make it who they are right now, Montreal Canadian. So yes, RHP signed contract, guys, a uh, two years uh, deal at uh, 1.1. Let me uh, comment about that. I'm behind again, guys, uh, tonight. I apologize. It's just fun to talk with you. And I think you are the most important people in the chat. People asking me, oh, you, foot, you maybe only follow your, your, uh, follow your subject. I understand that. But at the end of the day, uh, I like to talk about uh, what you bring on the table because you're really knowledgeable about hockey. And we have a place to sharing. So why not to mention your name? Why not mention your comments here? I believe this is my, form, my formula. Is it right, wrong? I'm not sure. Uh, if you think I have some feedback about this, let me know. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, about this one. Look, uh, by the way, good to go for Wednesday. Coach, awesome. We'll see you at 9 o'clock. Uh, Barzani said it was impossible to trade for a center. Can you use does not sound to have this problem? <laughs> a duck in your hook. Uh, I'm sorry about this, Gary. Uh, maybe excuse. I don't know. Uh, maybe he did not know how to negotiate. Uh, this is key. Uh, would not be in Montreal if Barzani only did bad things for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, um... He did not did only the bad things, of course. But that's funny. That trade GSM about Zuzki, it was not his players. He was targeting a Cody Glass. And I don't want to talk about Ben Bergevin at all. But that trade at that point, guys, that year, the Vegas Golden Knight have three, have three players first round. Eric Braxton, now defenseman for the Ottawa Senator. It was draft, I think, 15 overall pick. Nick Zuzki, 13 overall pick. And Cody Glass, I think he was eight overall pick. When they started the negotiating about Pesciotti, they put all the three names on the table to Bergerin. And Bergerin turned around and said, I want Cody Glass. And then after that, Vegas refused to get Glass and they offered them Zuzki. That's the story about Bergerin. Again, Bergerin did a lot of good things with Montreal Canadian. Of course. But we we're just talking earlier about what he did wrong with Sergachev trait. Atarasego uh, is uh, is an hurricane. Uh, about this one, I will do the color commentary. If you do retro game coach, it uh, would be awesome to talk. I think it's something we have to figure out that one some night. Uh, 
I do not think New Hook had did a crochet would play center enough to Bergeron. Look at the he left us at Mayu. The silver was last and they hit that by over one hundred. The next game they actually got in at Johnson who laid the boat there. This is a lot of Buffalo. Um the the, the Buffalo need fiscality. But it's not Cliff, Clifton is going to make a lot of big impact and Johnson is slow. But they would bring some kind of clean the house, and that would be a security play uh, uh, with Owen uh, with Owen Power. Uh, for example, Johnson, example, that would be a good asset for them. Uh, Clifton, uh, honestly, a deal. He had to play a third pairing. If he plays second pairing, Buffalo is a trouble. Um, I don't like that. Personally, I don't like that uh, that signature. Uh, Three point three million dollars, Clifton guys. Ouch. Third pairing defenseman. Ouch. But maybe this is something I don't see yet. Someone can tell me it is something. He was split behind Carlo and McEnvoy with the Buffalo uh, with the Boston Bruins. Is it because he was third pairing? Can he play with a better uh, uh, a team uh, a team a little bit more uh, not better at Boston Bruins? Have the possibility he can become a second pairing defenseman? Where possible, we'll see. Uh, are there any rules? How soon some of the young draft pick take the ice full time? Uh, not really, uh, Willie. Uh, they have to be draft, and then after that they got draft. They have to be uh, an entry level contract, and then they go there. So we have nothing uh, specific or the fact. 18 years old uh, is the minimum. I think that I love Buffalo Wings. Uh, look at uh, uh, this over there from the Rangers, from what I trust. Uh, describe. I use it too. Uh, A two. Uh, I risk another brick in the wall. That look of a sin. So that would be claimed by Chicago. It could happen there. Um, Arizona could be another one. G. After, uh, yeah, so right uh, about that. Uh, it could be about this. Uh, I don't see Montreal get my the Z, you know, uh, Randy. I don't know why you want Montreal select um, the Montreal. Get at him. Uh, right, just wait on the twelfth. Uh, so as I run it to to two team Hurricane and the Ottawa Senator. You know, would the Montreal trade price for Eric Carlson not allow? You know. Um, Right, what the reason San Jose would take carry price when he cannot play hockey anymore, and they don't need to clarify the salary cap uh, uh, on that one. And uh, Montreal, why do you get Eric Carlson on the rebuilding? Uh, 32 years old, we know can use there's no one to any player over 29 years old. So I would say to you, no, about that one over there. Uh, welcome in the house, by I'll go to add quiz and at that. Um, it's uh, interesting. Uh, Lafreniere has a project. Uh, Martin Sully can turn his career around. Uh, yeah, possible there if they can make the trade. Uh, uh, goes as to ask her for it. Uh, about this one, defensive depth on camp. Uh, Gibson agent tells Serevini earlier the pen on fire. So, like it, is go is way to Carolina. There we go. Composition. Uh, trouble is a lefty. Yes, he is a lefty. About this, Bill, uh, I coach uh, Ray Baker and Austin Pair uh, for Drill at the Dutch uh, camp. You thought, uh, yeah, we talk about this on my video today. Did I did it today? I don't know anymore. Uh, no, it's the next video. <laughs> oh my god, anyhow. Uh, look, uh, they became very uh, friend inside of this team very quickly. Uh, we know, um, Ray Baker, uh, Vincent Rover play together, but they they feel that chemistry already. Uh, between uh, Austin and Ray Baker. I think that's good. Uh, you want to have uh, those kind of possible at some point to be pairing, and the Montreal would love to do that. That's the reason they wear the white jersey versus the red jersey, like Mayu. Uh, and then they will see what they develop. Uh, I think it's, they fit very well. Uh, Austin need a big guy beside him, and they need a guy can carry on the puck too, like uh, Ling Austin. You need a guy to stay home. And defensively, guys, is uh, Ray Baker is really impressive. Uh, the second thing I would say to you, what I'm impressed by uh, Ray Baker is, is skating. Skating, guys, movement, quick crossover, edge work is really good. For 18 years old, I see a couple of clips yesterday. Uh, I watched him play at uh, NL. And, wow, bring the guy to the corner, guy. is shifting from the one uh, on the one side to another side. I'm really impressed by the way uh, Ray Baker react, by the way. Um, defensive zone coverage. Uh, great question, Bill, about that. Uh, uh, we appreciate a lot. Uh, uh, Coach, why do you feel like uh, uh, eating burger about this? It's a theme of the only uh, Joe about the summer. We, it's the summertime, so barbecue time. It's holidays right now. 
Happy Canada, July 1st. Now it's Independence Day tomorrow in USA. So it's just the time of the year we just make a background as a barbecue. And maybe you're hungry like I am every morning. I come here in the morning uh, for that one over there. Um, uh, how old is it? It's about that one. Uh, look at about 81, 82, in my opinion. Uh, uh, not be uh, no overrated, not a guy I would add, not a player from a dime. I would like to know the term of the contract for him. What do you want? Uh, would you want Hudson or Strabble uh, to face Florida at the Vegas? Uh, was the initial plan? And Hudson would be an uh, overpower. Um, I would say to you, WSC, uh, yes, you know, um, for that one over there. I would say because uh, who is going to move the park for the Montreal Canadian? Is it Strabble or Hudson? So you have to you have to have a, a, what you don't understand WST. You need to have a sp different roles inside the team, all right? Um, that's what you need. If you look about the Vegas Golden Knight guys, the transition puck for them it was not coming for the defensive. They was coming for the forward. That's what happened with the Vegas Golden Knight. Size is great. I understand that. I understand your point of view about this, but it's fun. Team out front. You, you don't talk about Samuel Girard with the Colorado Avalanche. Right? The size is very important, but I'm telling you right now, Jordan Strouble is not going to be a top six Montreal Canadian in the future. I know Sir Lane Hudson is going to be a top six too. But you need a player like Hudson to carry on your power play. The the one we're talking about, guys, yeah, nobody can play power play like uh, Lane Hudson. Uh, Lane Hudson can become the Queen Hughes in NHL. That's what he is. Now, if you feel better of you to have all 6-4 and to play defensively, but it, it's the you formula. I, I I accept that part of that for sure. But you need to have a different kind of player about this and the player. I think Lane Hudson fit very well and the transformation of the of the Montreal Canadiens. And again, in the playoff, you don't have to play him all the time the second pairing. You can hide him on the third pairing. And when you need a power play, you need a specific thing about the game. But you have Lane Hudson, Ken Karen. Uh, Lane Hudson, Karen, the puck, guys, is the puck position. The puck position, the time you have the puck on your, on your stick, but nobody can, they cannot score the opening team. The game is about transitions, about speed. The game is changing. That's the key behind that. So, for me, uh, I, I just not feel like struggle. If you consider Jordan struggle, guys, in the lineup in the future, uh, I don't know. Um, I did not see something uh, for me, uh, give me a struggle to be with the Montreal Canadian. Uh, by the way, if I can recall it, guys, struggle is only six foot. Uh, now, my coach, you're going to be in trouble. I think he is, I, I, if I can recall it. Maybe 6'1. You know, he's six foot. I know that. He's the same size like Jordan Harris. Same, same size like Jordan Harris. And you don't you told me WSC you don't like Jordan Harris, he's too small. So why you would like to have trouble and you line up now? Uh, Frank Zalazar. Ladies and gentlemen. OMG, we have back from Cuba for Cuban, the Cubano, the South Florida, the cigar is back in the house. We lost this man. Ladies and gentlemen, is back. Frank Zalazar is in the house. Oh my God. Unbelievable to see Mr. Z Frank Zalazar. <laughs> Wow, Frank, what's going on there? We completely lost you. Amazing. Uh, hopefully, it's going to give us some update about what's going on with you. Uh, hopefully, you're going to be back. Uh, Marco, you're right. It has only a three, four season in the career since 2012. Uh, there is a uh, floater. Uh, so, it's very limited. And the uh, skill, I don't see a future with the Montreal Canadian. I will skill them at soon. There uh, we go. Montreal, also, they have six players with more uh, two years remaining on their deal. Uh, many of the current players won't be on the same team when they become competitive. Because it was said, Mr. G, uh, about this. Uh, 
um, about that. Uh, Marco all spoke very high of the trouble and his presser today was impressed with how he will adapt in American Blade coming straight from NCA. Yes, again, it's another step for sure. My point behind that, and I said he's not good. I just feel he's not fit in my all the player the Montreal Canadian as a left defenseman. Uh, I will say to you, I see Adam Ekstrom uh, in front of him right now. Uh, I see Amson going to be, be become better, I believe, of uh, uh, Jordan Harris one day. But we'll see. Uh, Laval would be a much younger team. Uh, you're absolutely right about this uh, uh, for that. Uh, Brenamo is going to have the ice fold trying to get a 44 for uh, Tarasenko. Uh, but a lot of young talent will now replace the RV Pinal and Ireland. Uh, will be interesting what happening about this. So guys, we'll move on. Uh, we talk about the Montreal Canadiens. Let's finish the show with a little bit more. The Montreal Canadiens at day number three today. It's again the most impressive players on the ice right now. What everybody talk, the public and the staff management is looking at you. Uh, he is on another level. I don't know what happened with him. I don't know if he's going to make the, the but he's going to push hard. Uh, to try to make the roster. and uh, But I think it would be more benefit for him to play in American Hockey League one year uh, to develop because Montreal already have in front of him right now uh, Kovacevic, they have uh, Baron, they have David Saval, and they can use maybe a Cooley on the right D if they have two. So I think a one-year benefit for Logan Mayu and the American Hockey League with Laval Rocket would be very good. On the flip side, it's really impressive right now at the development camp where we are uh, I will invite you guys now. The, the Montreal Guinean uh, put on the screen on, on the on the social media tonight, uh, tonight tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock. The game, uh, the scrimmage, uh, white versus red, or whatever we want to call it. And you can watching this on YouTube channel, on the Twitter, I believe, on the uh, on the other social media. You can watch it on the website for the Montreal Guinean. Is another place you can watch it. And you can follow the game live if you want to to watching the the scrimmage between the between both team and watching maybe Hudson whatever they are the player you're looking for uh, they're going to be in action tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock. So I was just sharing with you about Logan Mayu about that uh, uh, over the third cap. I think Mesak get a bigger role in Laval this year. I think so too. I think Mesak is going to be that level for sure. I don't want all to say otherwise, Marco. Uh, my exec, I think, is not development as supposed to. Um, it takes time, right? Um, Jan Mezak uh, is still only 21 years old. Um, he was a 42 overall pick. Again, is a center. Uh, it would be benefit for him to have a, a bigger role, like he said, Marco, uh, to have more TOI. He got hurt last year at some, at some point. Uh, but he, the, the, the skill he talent, he proved it when he played in the OHL. Uh, with the symbol back at David Wilder. Frank Zalazar did a so super bad. chat, ladies and gentlemen, the Cubano back in the house. Frank Zalazar! Here we go, Frank Zalazar did it. The second super chat after RG Calabro. Frank from Florida Panthers. Big hand. I, I cannot remember. I cannot. It's crazy. We completely lost Frank Zalazar, guys. I don't know what happened to you, my friend. I, I tried to pick it up in the chat a little bit later. Uh, what happened to you about this one? Max Austin with the flowers. Uh, but both takes over for the likes, guys. You consider to click on the likes because you're going with hurt and uh, the lava. Sun like and another could be a flame soon. Uh, he was pretty transparent. Look, I said he, he thought it would be get all over the because it get happen uh, and says, so Hey, coach, is the Nyland convoy still in the work? Uh, we talk about this. We'll wait for Chris Nyland if he can make it or not. Uh, he was one on the fishing trip. Now he's back. Look like he's back. So we'll try to pick him up uh, very soon. Uh, uh, another Emmanuel Major for the Brain Cat in the channel. Uh, wow. I'll be a lot that uh, well for the Ken Superman. Good. Uh, Zezna has played himself out of Detroit. That short uh, Zeb Zef uh, uh, Top and uh, Mevre. Uh, welcome aboard. Zeb Zeb Top. I like the Z Z Top. It's a Z Z Top. I like it. Uh, Sean, the podcast. Uh, it's okay. Uh, Merci beaucoup, uh, Zeb. On te souhaite une très bonne, uh, très bonne journée, mon ami, mon ami Zed. Uh, 
Uh, bon, this, uh, bon, that, uh, donc, uh, un prospect, uh, uh, a prospect only has so many years to development his game before he drop out of the depth shot at this point. So that is what he is. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that one over there. Uh, et voilà. Sammy, uh, how many goals for uh, Coco next year? I would say 41, in my opinion. Uh, it could be that uh, that uh, that play, uh, Sammy. Thanks to stop by. Don't forget to click on that. It'll be awesome. Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be great. Uh, subscribe to the show. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, did you hear about the uh, city training regiment in our top? Uh, about this, thank you so much, RJ, for the super chat. Uh, about this. Uh, uh, can someone uh, that then? <sighs> Second so, next season, 20 goals, 25 assists. He stay healthy and Rabinov. Um, will be interesting first of all in Rabinov if he go to start the season with the Montreal Canadian. I expect he start the season with the Montreal Canadian. Um, I think Montreal doesn't want to bring him at Laval. Some conversation was about this the last couple of days. Uh, uh, it was a couple of days. Uh, IHP is a Gallagher success with more offensive skill. Um, we have to remember, Joel, um, I understand your point of view, Joel, when you said that, right? Successor. But Gallagher, guys, you have about four seasons, 30 goals in NHL. Uh, he, he put a lot of puck in the net, uh, Gallagher. Not the last three years, but prior to that, uh, Gallagher was regular at 27, 28 goals to 35 goals per year. Uh, 32 gold per year. So, I uh, unfortunately, you know, he struggled with some kind of injury, but uh, uh, we'll see what happened. Uh, for that, uh, for this, uh, uh, Ryan Eller is in the house. Welcome back, uh, Ryan. Uh, RJ37. Uh, about this one with that. Uh, the games are about okay. Uh, so no one fix it. I did it. Here we go. Uh, about this one. Uh, uh about uh, Rainbacker is a great choice. Uh, the ad uh, decor and the Cindy and the top four were all the lender. Robinson, Saval, Point Bouchard, Eggblunt, Lightweight, good uh, defenseman play any side. Uh, for that one, we got it. Uh, uh, we're going to do my same cup, uh, ring in my hair. Uh, Jordan, with the Montreal drafting another uh, defenseman, does this increase the focus on the Desocacy this year? Uh, been that he has to represent the offensive side of the rookies? Not really. Um, I don't think so. They, focus, they did not pick right back up that way with the point you try to bring. I think he's a uh, year number two. He's still play only 39 games, so it's almost like a rookie again this year. So about his development, they're going to give him a bit more TOI, more uh, specific role. Now he have to he have to pick that opposite right now to so he showed a bit more uh, as a hockey player. So we'll see how he's going to react now. Nine, 19 years old, man, more maturity, more experience. He see the game from the from the top of the build, uh, the building and see what he's going to do about that. J'avais un autre. Long par Gary Lapointe, uh, uh, ça va, uh, we're right uh, about this. Uh, yeah, so right, look at uh, uh, About uh, ça va for um, Montreal Canadiens. Um, RHP, contract coach. Uh, it's my favorite, get 3.5 then, and after that, what a million. Here we go. That's the point you said that. Uh, coach, uh, do you expect Montreal Canadiens to make a buy other player eventually? Which one? I don't see that. I think it's not on the ritual thinking about uh, can use. That would be extremely, um, they have to, but that would be the last thing to do, in my opinion. I don't see that right now. Now you can do it tomorrow, so it goes, you run wrong, and I've been wrong before. But I don't see the way uh, can use manage right now. Uh, this part of what he's thinking. But it could happen about this. Uh, Christian Shaw is in the house. Welcome back. Don't forget get to click on the like. That'd be awesome. Uh, for that. Uh, uh, G is in the house. RHP's current co co role constant. Uh, everything goes good. I agree with you. And at that, leave close to the donuts. Uh, Coach, is Marcel Dion is a more underrated player in the NHL? I don't think so. Yeah, many players are underrated about this. Marcel Dion may be one of them. Uh, we know, uh, remember, he was uh, the draft uh, second overall pick after Guy Lafleur. 
been an amazing, great career, with the, honestly, with the Los Angeles King before he go to Detroit Red Wings. Uh, he owned his own restaurant, Gareth Marcel at Dion. If you visit uh, St. Catherine, Ontario, not the St. Catherine Street in Montreal, but the St. Catherine City in Ontario, he still have his restaurant over there. Uh, honestly, I did not hear anything about him for the last two, three years. Uh, I stopped by there uh, just a year before COVID or uh, his restaurant. It was there. It was there. Uh, but uh, maybe not the most over uh, underrated, but he was one of them for sure. Uh, Mr. Crooks, uh, thanks so much for the lineup you gave us to us uh, right now. I appreciate sure about this. Uh, I appreciate you. It was right uh, uh, for that one over there. You're right. Uh, Savard was left. At, he played on the right side, but uh, uh, that point I knew about that. Uh, forget to me, card. Uh, whatever, I sent lack uh, on the side. He more as a makeup uh, for his second skill. Uh, I'm sorry about this one over there. Uh, I was blamed by my 12 years old eyes. Uh, Gaydon is in the house. Uh, hey, coach, how I sent special uh, uh, help is better than my committee. Um, he have a good one, but in fact, they have an amazing, great. Uh, wrist shot and yeah his accuracy is pretty good his hands with there he's not going to score like 20 goals per year uh uh Hudson. but he's going to give you maybe 8 to 12 goals per year and he's going to carry on maybe a 60 point per season with assists and move the puck and the way it would uh, open up space for everybody else uh that's what he did uh usually uh go get on uh, but his shot is not like the way you're thinking about uh uh, Rebacker and Austin pairing together at Rookie Cam is the first show for pairing for Montreal again. Uh, let's move on, guys. I will put a stop right there after Gary Cornier about this. Uh, uh, but uh, the subject tonight, guys, was really about the Montreal Canadian and uh, the wall I'm talking about. Uh, and the reason I said the defense, the wall, guys, uh, it's not like uh, they stop everything and nothing happening there. It's a way when the Montreal Canadian for the first show. You talk about Baron. 22 years old, Ray Barker, 18 years old, Mayu, 20 years old, Cooley, 21 years old, Hudson, 19 years old, Jakai, 21 years old. This is the first year of Montreal Canadian. Again, you can add Kovacevic, Iris, Angstrom, and you can name all the defensemen. And then we don't talk about Madison yet inside of that group. I've seen Madison, I've seen maybe three, four more years uh, with the Montreal Canadian. So Montreal Canadian are building a really strong defenseman wall and the, for the future for the next 10, 15 years with the Montreal. And I think, and they have specific role. Baron can score a goal, can carry on the puck. Mayu, an amazing great slap shot, right? We know that. Uh, Ray Barker, you're going to see a uh, guy, Ray Barker, people start to love him more and more and more. I don't know what kind of t the ceiling he has right now, but it could be an amazing, great defenseman in his shot. Uh, but uh, for him, it's more about the defensive first, and then he can he can move the puck too. He have an amazing, great first pass, by the way. He see the play very well. Uh, Cooley, you know already who what he looked like. Top pairing defenseman in, in his shot. Cooley is going to become one day. Uh, he can play on both sides of the game, by the way. Right defenseman, or left defenseman. Hudson, it's all about skating. It's all about uh, shifty. Uh, hands uh the kid can carry on the puck can move the puck uh he's oriented offensive he's become your full forward on the offensive zone of the game his adaptation have to be there with the physicality of the game in nhl but otherwise the kid can play hockey we'll see what he can turn around if it's not our same guy we have other defensemen we have kovacevic we have angstrom uh you talk about struggle um and we we that's what they are uh the Montreal have a bunch of the defensemen. And then Jekai. We know Jekai scored five goals last season. But for me, it's more about what he brings on the table. Not any other defenseman. Maybe Mayu is the closest one with Jekai. Where they are big defensemen, 6'4", for Mayu. And Jekai brings some kind of physical thing in the corner. He hit everybody. He can fight. He can play a different role inside the team. Um, I think it, for me, Jakai uh, Jakai can develop uh, a specialist of the PK like uh, like Edmondson. I think it would be help him be his tools 
still get more TY minute and sell a Montreal Canadian. So he can sit at on, on the bench on the PK example if they play all together. We don't talk about Jordan Harris, by the way, by the way. So you can see the wow I'm talking about. You can see the for sure Montreal Canadian. They really start what they believe. Uh, that's what the the formula for them to win uh, the games uh, and, and to become a solid team in NHL. This is what they believe, the, the Hugo. And uh, maybe you want to share with me what which part you are you the most impressed? What part are you thinking? Uh, the ceiling is going to be amazing. Which player of the top six we talk about? May any other defensemen are going to be the best defensemen for the Montreal Canadiens? How do you feel about that? About that core? So uh, if you want to share this in the chat, I will pick it up. Guys, we still have a more minute to come here in the chat uh, tonight. Uh, I will pick up now in the chat. Just want the Stanley Cup. Uh, uh, let you know. Uh, coach, uh, uh, I'm hearing that uh, in the 2024 draft, uh, there will be uh, even a Demidov available for MHL. Uh, a big tag and possibly the best uh, Russian prospect ever. Be ironic. And Montreal draft him. Uh, Demidov is funny. He's uh, right now considered a top three best defense uh, forward for the for the draft 2024. Uh, they have a release. Uh, some kind of people release uh, the the top 20 or the top 30, I can't remember, of the 2024. Elzerman and, honestly, Celebrini uh, are the top forward in that draft 2024. Uh, again, Montreal, I don't think so. They would be top five. I'll be shocked. They are top five. But they can maybe lucky and to win the, the finale, uh, the, the three to be cup one or two. And uh, they're not going to be set up at uh, Demidov. They're going to go with uh, uh, Celebrini. But we'll see what happens. Uh, get a point, Lancet, that uh, goes. Uh, Max, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about this, Max. Uh, Thanks so much for uh, the confirmation. I uh, wake that better uh, success would put the uh, microscope on Sakoski. Uh, not at all, uh, Jordan. Uh, Sakoski is going to be compared with all the first overall pick in NHL. And, and until, he don't, until he cannot prove it, there will be some, they will compare him with the, or like uh, other first round pick never make it. That's the point behind that. Uh, like, you know, so we have to consider to take time, and that's you don't hear a lot, but that that's what happened with Lafreniere right now with New York Rangers. Uh, but Guy Lafleur took him three years before. I don't say that uh, success become a Guy Lafleur. Some first of all pick, it take time. He played only thirty nine game last season. It could be never play with Montreal last season, and nobody will wait for him to show up this year. So uh, for me, he restart at the case number one. Go back at the beginning and restart. We'll see what he look like. It's about development for him. At least it would take for me about him at least one or two years uh, for that. Uh, but it would be interesting to see that. Uh. So that's what we got right now, guys. Uh, for this, I tried to pick up. Uh, Kibo Rang is in the house. Uh, Future Brent Burns. Here we go. I uh, love that one over there. And uh, Mr. Boram, glad to see you. Uh, Mr. 83 is in the house. Uh, do you see Nolander been trade at the beginning of the season because of the debt? Uh, but Nolander, guys, uh, is really interesting case for him. Um, it could be that way, right? It could go that direction for sure, uh, 83 uh, for him. Um, obviously, his injuries put him where he is right now. Uh, concussion, uh, shoulder, and uh, the first show with Montreal would be limited. Now, they need a guy like him right now, and they don't give up on him. It would be maybe a bigger role within Laval Rocket. Hopefully, he can recover what he was expect. Uh, the people was expected for him to become a kind of puck mover, great on the offensive zone, or power play unit, everything. Uh, I think he will, should have another shot, but he's a guy guys can return in and play in the SHL in the next two years. I would not be surprised. Uh, can the team can pick it up in just in case it could happen, but uh, limited for his future in NHL. Uh, at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, thanks for the info. Bon Ram, no problem. They're not going back home. Uh, could see a trade happen with Aris or trouble if Mayu make the team. Um, I don't see that uh, on the same like that. Uh, I don't see that. Why? Because I think that we have to develop this. Uh, and it's like in your report, another member again for another month, one of the longest uh, uh, longevity of the 
as a member supported Hockey Nation last show. Thanks so much, Mr. Uh, Hockey Nation uh, Hockey Reporter from uh, Connecticut. I don't see that in our time. Last year, Montreal Canadiens had defensemen like they did because of injuries. I think right now, Montreal does not need to add a Mayu and so right now. Why not to keep him in the one year uh, benefit and use what they already have? In my opinion. And already uh, three, four years, probably they develop uh, is probably they're going to be a top tier. But uh, yes, you're absolutely great. Uh, uh, good out call coach. May you need to be an American rocket for time. Ben, I agree with you about that one. Thanks again, Frank Z Zalazar. I had one to the final. Amazing feeling. You're absolutely right about this, Frank. Uh, we miss you, buddy. Again, uh, guys, this channel, guys, that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm short every day because the people like Frank have uh, been here for many years and, and then uh, you make some kind of connection, friendship, what I'll never meet those people, uh, but you under, re always remember who they are and uh, it's, it's, it's good to see that. It's good to see that. Uh, uh, about my home, uh, thanks to rank, uh, the, not a problem. RJ uh, consists to get some great uh, information right there. Another, I saw him so big at uh, Kimberman. Uh, Iris is the one we get that uh, you not more care for and a pick. Uh, Mr. Andre Robert is in the house. Andre Robert, the one guys, another great man. Talk about great people, that's what Andre is. Uh, Honestly, but uh, Pittsburgh have 22 players signed already. They will try to uh, dismiss and be under the cap. Uh, they missed the playoff by one point. What they'll go miss uh, the half season. We'll be interested what the tuba is going to do again. We'll be uh, see. Mark uh, back again. Uh, I think a large percentage of Canadian fans don't fully appreciate what Iris brings to the eyes. Uh, but a great point, Mark, about this. Like, I, I, I don't know if you were here earlier in the show, but I really talk about what kind of smart player he is uh, at the end, Mark. Uh, but I would say to you, at the end of the day, they have a lot of... He's going to be pushed out at some point because they are going to have other players in front of him or play a specific role for the Montreal Canadiens and have another... Uh, bring other dimension in the game. Now, Iris could be your third pairing defenseman and you could be your defenseman number seven example. Uh, wow. Well, uh, but again, I, I agree with you. At uh, some point, you see, his lack of physicality... Uh, did not help him overall last year, but his recovery is a small hockey blur. Uh, Mark, uh, great comments uh, for that one over there. Gonna have some Jekai uh, Reeves matchup next season. We're interested in going to get that. Uh, he's a great guy. A2. Uh, again, Andre, welcome back in the house. Uh, and fans about this. Uh, let's move on, guys. Well, I, I want to try to get around. We have 925. I don't want to give you guys for longer and more. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens guys, new senior we know talk about him yesterday. Lias Anderson, seven roll pick in 20, uh, 2017 by the New York Rangers, uh, was straight uh, uh, to the New York Range, uh, to the Los Angeles Kings, uh, and played last year 67 game in American Hockey League for the team called uh, Rain, I think Rang, and uh, Ontario, and and 59 point uh, for Anderson. This is his best year. As a hockey player, he got a contract. He is a two-way contract. He's going to start the season with the Laval Rocket. The fact they don't have Anthony Richard anymore, the Laval Rocket, that's Ad uh, Anderson. They have some kind of connection, of course, with Bob Rav and Corden. They try, uh, they pick him up as a overall. Obviously, exactly like Zadina, like a Paul Jujavi, those kind of players never reach the, the potential in NHL. So that's the same answer for Elias Anderson. Uh, the Rockets signed two players today, guys, uh, but they signed more. But yeah, one, two specific player is, uh, of course, uh, one is Davidson. Uh, Davidson, guys, is a um, draft in Montreal Canadiens last year um, and then uh, play an amazing big role with a Seattle Thunderbird. You talk about character earlier. We talk about RHP. We talk about perseverance. We talk about uh, kids never give up. Uh, he play always against the odds. Uh, that would be draft. He got caught. He go back to junior B, and then he beat everyone at 16 years old, and he become a big role four years later in the WHL uh, with the best team uh, for the Seattle Thunderbird. And he always against him, but he find a way. Uh, he's a blue collar team. He don't afraid to go in front of the net. He have some skill, the skill, a talented. Of course, he can score. Uh, would be interesting. This is a great asset for again for the Laval Rocket. That pushed back again, Jan Mizak. Uh, you have to compete for his job. 
Uh, that what Davidson bring on the table. He got only a one year contract guy with the Laval Rocket. It did that happen. Of, they did this with Simono, if I can recall it, and, and RHP in the past. And we'll see what he looks turn around if he become an ELC for the Montreal Canadian in the next couple of months. The other player guy I'm talking about is Trust Man. If you follow his career, he's 26 years old. Obviously, never make the NHL uh, because uh, never have that opportunity. It's only six foot. Uh, play with University of Michigan. I always have an amazing, amazing, great stats uh, at some point. But whatever the team was not great at that time, he, he, he just performed everywhere he's been. He's been, he went to play in Sweden. He had an amazing, he was the best goaltender for Sweden in 2021, 2022. I can, if I can recall the same, the, the right year. And then after that, moved back in the East Coast Hockey League and the American Hockey League. He struggled last year in the, uh, in the American Hockey League. Uh, this is a, another player in Montreal and case because I believe this is the end of Kip Primo. The Montreal Canadian, for what they look like right now, uh, if you look about how they act, I feel this is the end for Primo with the Montreal Canadian. So this is an additional uh, player the Montreal Canadian as uh, with the Laval Rocket for upcoming season. Uh, big end of tap. Uh, uh, G, I like Sarkowski, opposition, uh, opposition going to help uh, hate playing and boxing him out about body problem, uh, big body problem. Yep, sorry, G, about this one. Uh, Gary, also about that. Uh, they are good. Uh, it's news to me. Uh, friend of the Aris, uh, but uh, uh, friend of the ad, but other as a well uh, open minded friend of the game in general. Uh, Awesome to hear that SM. That's what we love to have uh, for that. Uh, uh, Cap is going to up, so they might buy out Gallagher next year. <sighs> I would say to you, A2, yeah, I can understand the point of view, but remember, guys, the the cash register is going to open up a lot. The ching, 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 because you have to pay right now, Gooley, Jack High. Uh, they have a lot of uh, they have a lot of players are going to become <coughs> RFA for the Montreal Canadian um, A2, so uh, I don't see that yet right now. Uh, uh, for that, uh, uh, talk about uh, just be sure we going forward with the Montreal Canadian. A lot of conversation between you guys. That'd be awesome. Uh, uh, seven years for tourism, two more years. Try to. I compete then five years to rebuild his game in. Depends. Coach Montmoy to line up for l'année prochaine. Um, and we have to make some modification. Look, yesterday we did. <coughs> yesterday we did it. Uh, but we have like only 15 forward about that one with there. Uh, look, uh, we have to move up. Uh, we have to make another one with more the specific line. Of return. Let me uh, do it. Look, I will show it to you uh, Wednesday night. Uh, Adam Berger is in the house. Uh, Prepare is for the trip in Italy. Thanks so much, everybody, for the likes tonight. Uh, the position looked great, uh, but uh, look, uh, you never know how you're going to Jekai can build the wall. Uh, he walked at home the bow, uh, let you know <laughs> about this one over there. Uh, and the name for two, Koli, Mayu, Hudson, Rebecca, uh, Iris, Baron, and uh, Jekai, GSM. I agree with you about this one over there. Uh, it's going to be an exciting uh, year of hockey, a bunch uh, of kids. Uh, uh, want to play hard and fast. Uh, well said, Andre Rabat. Thanks again to join us uh, tonight. Really doing well, my friend. I hope Austin can play around the big boy. I'm worried. Uh, setting as a high yes, uh, William McClary. Here we go. Uh, thanks so to Vin. Is it not the same uh, one for check? Is AV for sure? Look, uh, I agree with you about that. It's funny. Get Leonard was uh, born in Calgary, uh, 83. Uh, for that one, another is insane. Uh, about that, that toy pick up every day. I have no faith in Hudson. I hope he proved me wrong. Uh, love to be wrong. Uh, I, I know that. I know that. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a jab on you. I don't know if I have this. Uh, I like to put look, um, wrong many times here in the chat. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I move on with the other thing, guys. The Montreal Canadiens news that Christian Devarek is not going to start the season 2023-2024. Uh, at least something changed. He's going to miss at least two weeks at the beginning of the season, upcoming season for the Montreal Canadiens. Devarek is out uh, at that moment. Philip Mazar, great news about him. Um, 
it was uh, some kind of agreement between uh, Philip Mazal, the agent, and the Montreal Canadiens last season. They promised him to play one year in OHL, and then the year number two is going to be with Laval Rocket. So you add, you add to add Philip Mazal. Is it officially going to make it? Maybe not. So what is the other option? If ever it's not working with American with Laval Rocket for upcoming season, expect Philip Mazal to be loaned and to play in uh, maybe a Slovakia league or play in the NL or whatever it is for Philip Mazal. So follow him. There'll be interesting to see that there. Like I mentioned to you, Primo, guys, his days is count with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Curie enough, uh, got an offer contract with the KHL. Don't be surprised if nobody gets uh, um, to see Curie enough leaving the NHL to play in KHL next season. I don't remember the, the amount of money he got in return about that one or that. Uh, about this, uh, here we go. Again, thanks so much, my friend. Uh, and it's sure I'm very happy about uh, Ray Barker. Well, said, my friend, hopefully doing well. Uh, uh, great to hear that, Mr. And sure, guys, he was one of the first subscribers, the top 25 subscriber of the channel, uh, NHL. The 2004, it was on my account on GM, uh, on the Kogo. Just kidding. Uh, but uh, glad having you, my friend. Uh, young man, guys, maybe 20 years old now, 21 years old from Connecticut. And um, at that, at the beginning, he gave me a lot of hints uh, about the YouTube channel. He gave me hope. He gave me some kind of positivity uh, for me, for my channel. And uh, uh, I was trying to understand many things at the beginning. So uh, he's always been a great, great uh, supporter. Why is then another uh, the target? He has been the best player, player for the league uh, because the contract situation. We miss it. Slide for the bowler. Yeah, slide. Uh, Never come back after that. He missed uh, at some point a couple of months, six months, and then come back and then he disappeared again. Uh, hope the best for Sly is his girlfriend uh, from the Maritime. Uh, look, I did work at one minute, just my opinion. Uh, we missed Sly for the border. Got it. Uh, Calgary could have with drafting American. They ain't going there for some reason. For that one over there, I agree with you. And I try to pick up. Michael Duvenu is in the house. Lot a good defenseman prospect. I agree with you, Michael. Uh, another will never get that uh, ten million dollars. Look, I would be shocked if he get that. Uh, we think about the leave move. Uh, the move are good so far uh, for them. It's just to figure out the salary cap and what he's going to do after that. Uh, well, sure. Uh, they have eight million dollars over cap uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, um, and I thought maybe you mean uh, there was right there. Uh, some but have ridiculous expectation uh, of some other young players. Personally, I'm just looking for progressive from the course. Ski, Caulfield, Dark, and Sarkaski goalie. I would believe I would wait. It was said about that one over there. Some kind of conversation with you in a tap in my call. I could pick it up, everything else. Um, Uh, for that one, uh, the best sign, yes, uh, everybody. First, uh, he won nuts uh, in Rabinov. Uh, Iserman done with Zazina, has not make it the team. I'm going to move on, guys, with other thing we got here, guys. Uh, Swimming uh, is on the market, like Ulmark uh, for the uh, Boston Toronto, uh, for the Boston Browns. Will be interesting. Are they going to get there for that one? Uh, still trying to figure out uh, how electric water works. Uh, look. Uh, uh, about this, uh, uh, just kidding, my friend. Uh, and Iserman admit he is not in the mix. Uh, Preseason crucial. Uh, about this, uh, Rabinov can sit on the sign. Maybe a tournament is future and Rabinov. Um, would be interesting what happening with that part. Uh, Kane, uh, of course, he have a surgery. I think he would be patient. He would wait late in the season to figure out when he's going to recover. He said, uh, that kind of, I think the date is November 1st, I believe. That's something I need to look. Uh, if you, you, you have uh, some specific time uh, to sign a contract in, in, each, in, in each other. For sure. Uh, on that one, your sub to that coach is six success. So, ho ho, here we go. One at a time, leave Boston alone, uh, let them suffer. Should I look at swimming and pick up in a tap? Uh, that's one of the question. I don't know if you read my before me uh, in a tap. Uh, um, the cost will be high, uh, forget him. 
Uh, Montreal are the first round in return. Uh, they have some prospect they can trade. There may be some specific core they don't want to trade. Uh, but it would cost uh, Montreal Canadiens something. I don't know if Boston are looking more like a, like to add Jake Allen for them. I don't know. Uh, the money is a problem over there. Uh, they would love to maybe to have a top nine forward, uh, a spot there. Um, I don't know. Can a John Anders, Josh Anderson fit inside of Boston Bruins? Uh, I think Montreal compared to Winnipeg Jets uh, for Pierre Dubois. Uh, Montreal a little bit more chance or maybe more asset to trade for swimming versus um, Pierre-Luc Dubois. That's something we have to think about this, sir. A bit more. Uh, I know that's why I said they maybe retire. It could go that direction, uh, but I don't feel it. I think Jonathan Taze is closer to be retired, in my opinion. Then another one sign and extend for anything less than uh, 9.5 AAV GSM. Yeah, um, that would be the max I would give to him. Um, I don't know if I can compare this. Uh, I will look about the compared stat of Rattan Rattanen and Nalander. I try to compare the stat, guys. I, I, I apologize now because I ignore you. I just give you some information. Let's go with Miko Ratanen. Nalanda. Won't see the stat between Rattanen and Lenander. Um, Rattanen at 50 gold, 55 gold, Nalander at 40 gold, 105, 87. The last three years, guys, uh, last three seasons, Rattanen at 263 points. Rattanen has 209 points. Uh, both of them played 214 game for Nalander and uh, Rattanen uh, 209. Gold 91 Nalander and 121 gold for uh, Rattanen. So he scored 30 gold more in the last three seasons for Rattanen. So an average of 10 gold per game uh, per season. My point behind that guy is Rattanen make 9.5. So, uh, that would be a problem. Is Madison signed at GS? Yes, Madison have a contract at three more years to go. At 4.8, maybe two more years now, but uh, um, I think it is uh, for Madison. At least I know he have a con contract. Here we go. Three more years, guys, at 4.8 uh, for Madison. So, he turned 29. So, he still have three more years, uh, uh, Mr. G. Uh, but I think uh, Michael have a good uh, information about the Detroit Red Wings. Was this a pick up? We turn like that. Uh, KLS, uh, welcome back in the house. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, maybe you are here before. May you and uh, maybe make uh, the ad next season. Yeah, it's possible for him. I uh, just for me, it would be better if he can wait. Don't forget, get to click on the like. I appreciate a lot if you can do that. Uh, no right for goalie and Montreal. If only we want to pepper them uh, with shots. Uh, the key behind that look, if you had a chance to sign him. Um, a goalie at 24 years old, 23 years old, and uh, the cost is, is there. I think, look, they should. If I was Montreal Canadiens, I know so they have to, but uh, I mentioned on the eight-year deal starting in Florida, answering my own question, G. Uh, here we go. 
euh, sur un bordel, c'est le play for a better team, Ratanen. Ouais, ben, Nalander play with solid players. Uh, look, he play with uh, Matthews, play with Marner, play with Tavares. Uh, that's solid players. Ratanen play with McKinnon. Uh, I think it's very compare, and he got $9.5 million. So, I don't know. That's maybe the fact I would say to you is the way uh, I feel that. So, again, guys, I don't know if you enjoyed the show tonight. Hopefully, um, you know, if any feedback, any subject you would like me to talk about, uh, tomorrow night we'll be back for the month to, uh, for the NHL team. Tomorrow night we're going to go through its friend uh, team, uh, what happening to them for the last couple of days. And then Wednesday night, this is your show, Wednesday night, the Montreal Canadian again. We'll talk about the Montreal Canadian for sure. Uh, about this, uh, Nella will compare his salary to Mother. Both leave play about this. Uh, they have been top regular season team as well. Uh, Carter, get the fill for the uh, <laughs> Carter about that one over there. Uh, okay, is defending ready to play one year to not uh, ever urban scout. Uh, another will compare to sorry to Mother. Both of them, GSN. Uh, Let's play for a better team. Look at, don't see everything like that. So look like, guys, we're going to finish uh, the show with the French quiz. Tonight, guys, the quiz is they are from yesterday. And they are difficult because it's only, uh, it's a boring show. It's a boring quiz. Uh, I apologize for that. I did not, I was too busy. And, uh, but, uh, you know, you have to be lucky. Sometimes you just select the right number. And you're going to make it uh, happening about that uh, for tonight. Uh, So, uh, what we got here, guys, is the quiz tonight. Uh, we'll see what we got here. And the quiz, uh, we have uh, the leaderboard Frenchy quiz, guys, is Nicolas de Gobi Bono. We have Enar Tap. And we have RG Calabro. All three have a three good night answer. Since so the beginning, we did that. Uh, we did not do the last time we did a show, guys, for the quiz. It was July, June um, 28th. So uh, that's what happening with the quiz tonight. Uh, if you are new, this is a three question. You have a, you can uh, A B C D E, and uh, you you win. Uh, just you win. You don't win anything, but you just win the fact you can beat Luke Lafarson. This is the big 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 news for you guys about that one over there. So Carter, thanks so much. Uh, a quiz, Nicola. I'm winning this uh, book. Uh, here we go. A two is ready for that one over there. Uh, yes, Monica, you're the leader on that one, but he was showing his one safety about that. Uh, here we go, guys. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, my God! Not easy. The Buffalo Sabre picked top 15 initial draft since when? When? How many times they pick top? Which year the Buffalo Sabres pick top 15 NHL draft since when? So every year they pick at players at the top 15. But since which year? And 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. Since when they select a top best prospect top 15 in NHL? Is it since 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14? Here we go. Nicola, go with E, 12, 14. And thanks so much, Monica. Appreciate that uh, for your pick. Uh, okay, let's go with B, with 12, 11. Now we're going to give it a bit more time. G, S, M, go with C. A, 2, go with B. A bit more second for everybody. Uh, then uh, D for RG. Uh, GS go with E. Willie Snyder go with D. Uh, thanks so much, Michael. We'll talk to you soon. And after I go with D, Luke Lafarson go with E. Look at, take his time to select the right answer. Maybe Gary Conway go with B. I'm going to give you a bit more, 20 more seconds, guys, uh, if you don't mind. Great conversation between Enata and Michael Devenu, by the way. Uh, glad to hear that. Uh, For that one over there. Just wait a little bit longer. If anybody else. I don't know if Luciano did it or not. Uh, and then we're going to get that one. The next five seconds. 
four, three, two, one. And this should go with A, 2010. Oh, my God! Ladies and gentlemen, guys. I don't know if I have this. Here we go. The answer is C, 2012. Uh, and only one good answer. GSM is the only one, sir, of that one of the Buffalo Sabre. Got 2012. Uh, two more questions to go. Here we go. How many defensemen the Vancouver Canucks draft first round since 2000? How many of them? Three of them, four of them, five of them, six of them, or seven of them? Here we go. How many defensemen the Vancouver Canucks select uh, draft first round since 2000? We talked about one yesterday, by the way. Sorry, I don't care about the uh, pocket opinion. It's wrong just like me. <laughs> We'll see what's happening uh, on that one, guys. Only right now, GS take the lead I won. What is that? I go with E. RJ go with uh, uh, A. Nicola go with C, thanks so much. And Jake McAnew with B, uh, GS with A. Uh, we have uh, GA, I got it. Do we have other people in the chat that can add more? Jacob Fuller, by the way. Uh, B go with B, GSM go with C. Um, Gary Connor go with D. KLS go with C. I think Mr. Enatap and uh, Luciano. Uh, D Luciano for D. And Enatap is going to go to copy who? We don't know yet. Uh, I will give you five seconds. Enatap go with B. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a few people here. Got it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see what happening. The yeah, B is the answer. Four plus. Got it, uh, guys. Jake McEnwe, Luke Lepherson, and Enoch Tap tie the game with GSM. So we have four people, guys. Could win the contest tonight. Maybe they can be all wrong the last one. And then you guys have a chance to winning too. How many times the Flyers select a Russian player first round? How many times they select? We know they select uh, Matt V. Mitch Kov. Here we go, guys. How many times? Two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, uh, Luciano Boo, 0 2 on Luciano tonight. Uh, so far. We'll see if someone can score the last. Uh, so far, no answer. <laughs> Everybody is scared to put an answer right now. Here we go. Uh, okay, let's go with B. Uh, with Nicola, go with D. Nicola tried to take the lead of the leader board of the, the quiz. G, S, go with B. Willie Snyder with B. Willie is 0 2 so far. Can he go with 0 3 tonight? A shout out uh, for him. Gary Connery go with A. GSA go with A. We wait for Jake McAnuey and Artap. Look at the person that this and sir are so close together. Basically, guessing is the only option for tonight. It is, uh, obviously. They should go with B. They should try to score. Look at the person go with B. Thanks so much, Luc Lafarsen, about this one over there. Uh, we're still waiting for other answer guys to pick it up. At least Jake McAnui, uh, go with D. About this, A2, go with A. 
Thanks so much about this one over there. And we miss Enartap to join uh, the show tonight. Enartap go with A on that one over there. RJ go with C. Uh, RJ. Anybody else? Uh, just wait for a couple more seconds, guys, on this one over there. Here's the scenario, guys, uh, uh, of this. Uh, if uh, GSM, Jake, Luc Lafortune, and Artap score, but they win the contest. If they not score, all of them, but maybe other players can win, the, can tie the game. Uh, will he go uh, three is my average? Zero three, will he? <laughs> about this one over there. Guys, really interesting night uh, on that one over there. We have four people, GSM, Jake McEnwee, Luc Lafarsen, and Enor Tap uh, could win. But they are all wrong, guys. And RJ Calabro tied the game tonight, guys. A get another W with Enor Tap, with Luc Lafarsen, Jake McEnwee, and GSM. All of them have only one good answer tonight. Uh, and they are the winner of the contest tonight. And, and all of you, the rest are 0 3 uh, on the board, unfortunately, for you guys. So, congratulations, guys, on all the four, five players who we have tonight. Uh, GSM, first time. Jake McEnwee, I believe this is their first time, too. Uh, Luc Lavorson, I believe this is his first time, too, this season. And then Enartap is at four now. And RJ are at four. Let me check again my sheet here. Uh, Luc Lafortune uh, did not win uh, so far. And Jake McEnwee too. Wow. So, uh, and G SGM, that's the first time he got a goal uh, score. GSM, I apologize for that one over there. So, uh, all guys tied the game on tonight. Uh, congratulations, everybody, uh, on this one. It does conclude uh, the show. Uh, A2, I need it. <laughs> A2, need it again. How about that? Yes, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the show. This is what happening, guys, on Monday and the Wednesday. We talk about the Montreal Canadian, uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the show. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe, sharing at the new uh, website, by the way, the Ab channel. is called the Ab Nation. Uh, and watch my video every day, guys. Watch my video every day. We produce one video per day with Ab the News. Uh, so that's it. That's all, guys, for the great show. Uh, we will be back tomorrow night talking about the NHL team. And talking about more about the UFA, which team again are looking at more signature happening today. And um, and they're going to follow the Montreal Canadian Development Camp. Don't forget the game is at 11 o'clock at the scrimmage. If you want to watch this, check on your social media on the website for the Montreal Canadian. Or you can go on the YouTube channel for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, that moment will be important uh, to do that. Uh, but until the next time, guys, we want to remind you one more thing. Of course, uh, uh, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Here we go. We did it again tonight for an amazing great Ab Nation barbecue show with the Hockey Coach local franchise working for the before country of Thailand. And uh, hopefully I wish you an amazing, great, sweet uh, dream and great night. Uh, and of course, uh, consider to be be well, BL. Find a way not only to dominate your day, but find a way to dominate the second half of what? You are 2023. Until the next time, my friend, remember, the Hockey Nation Live Show said to you, we love you, friends. Uh, have an amazing, great night. I will see you tomorrow night, 9 o'clock. And thanks again to join us uh, tonight at the great uh, Ab Nation Barbecue Show. Thanks so much, all the moderators tonight in the chat and our tap and the channel. We want to thank a lot of people in the chat. Uh, Nicolas de Gourbi. What about uh, Mr. Luciano? Uh, Vinny007. RG Calabro. Uh, Luc Lapoisson. Always a pleasure to have you aboard. Uh, we miss you. We love you, my friend. Uh, GS. Uh, a2 new subscriber guys thanks so much Jake McEnwee is in the house tonight Willie Snyder continues to show up we saw tonight Frank Zalazar in the house Gary Cornoyer is was with us tonight GSM that you participate to the show tonight and many others guys uh, I don't want to mention everybody I'm going to forget many uh, Pocket Dre have a great conversation tonight uh, with other people and uh, Anne Rabinov was around with Carter at some point and many others guys so have an amazing great night. I'll see you tomorrow night at uh, 007. We wish you an amazing great night. Come on, get a grip now. Of all the ways we parted, you showed in your own way. We would stand and we would fall united. Come on, get a grip now. Just finish what you started. Don't like the feeling that I've been fooled to see them so mistaken.
Thank you, JK. What's going on now? Is this Thank you. another breakdown? You and me, should I say so? We're just putting on a show. What's going on now? Is this another breakdown? You and me, should I let go? I don't really want to know. Good night, Nicola. Good night, Nicola.